Hey Harrisonville, I'm Cheryl Bush and this is my hometown. My Crown Realty office is located on the historic Harrisonville Square and I am a top producer with over 20 years of real estate experience. I am involved and part of several organizations, groups, and worthwhile causes in our town. There are lots of exciting things going on in our downtown district and all over our city. This year I will be introducing you to people, places, and things that make Harrisonville the great place that it is. All states and areas handle real estate transactions and closings differently, and in our area, most transactions close at a title company. So today I'm with David Caulfield of Caulfield Land Title, and he's going to tell us why that is. Well, thanks for asking. You're welcome. welcome. And, and honestly, there's two parts of what we do. Part of it's the title, and the other part is the closing. So, so the title is really where we came about in the very first place, because we have evolved from being abstractors, where we used to compile all that information we've been handed to the buyer, you take it to the lawyer, and the lawyer would read it. Um, but now we issue title insurance, so we guarantee the validity of title to the buyers and the enforceability of the mortgage for the lenders. And, and, and that's, that's the number one thing that we do. But the second part of what we do is the closing part. Because back when you and I first got in the business, closings were the responsibility of the broker. And, they're, and, they're, and that's who was supposed to close it. And the lenders closed their own. What really changed that was, was a couple things. Uh, computerization has changed it. But the 1099 reportings, the government really had a big part in saying who was going to be responsible for closings. We've taken on the fact that we send out thousands of 1099s every year because that's what we do as part of the process. So, um, the other, and the other reason that we're in support for us to do the closings is that nobody else can cover the gap. So when I do a title report 30 days before closing, if you were to try to close that yourself, Cheryl, you how would you know if anything else had been reported? That something didn't happen in that in period. And that's, that's what we call it, the gap. Okay. So we can give what is sometimes referred to as gap insurance. Okay. You come to closing, before that final disbursement is made, we make another courthouse check. And we guarantee that nothing happened. If something did happen wrong, well, that would be our place okay. to fix it. So okay. that's the two parts, the title and the closing. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Um, I've known you for at least 40 years from this, time, from this business, at least. Will you share your background and how you got into the business? I um, graduated from the University of Missouri in 1974, so that'll be 50 years next year. Uh, and my, my first job when I got out of school was with the Federal Land Bank. And so I was a, uh, a loan officer for, for farm loans. My uh, office was in Lee Summit. My branch office was in Harrisonville at the local title company, Heighton Associates. I was in there every Thursday. So when I didn't have anything else to do, I was always looking up records, and the girls that worked there said, we're not doing this for you, we'll make you do it yourself. So I did. Well then Don Dryden, and we yep. both remember Don, yes, we did. Um, offered me the job. Okay. And that was in 1976. And I said to Don, I think you'll be born. And Don's next question to me was, well, how much are you making now? Well, that got my attention. <laughs> And I will tell you that for 46 years, I have not been born. It's not boring. It's not boring. Uh, I worked with Hyatt Associates until the end of uh, 1983, and then 1984, Linda and I bought okay. Cass County Title. Uh, and then we changed the name in 1994. Okay. And it was, was Cass County Title on the square at that point in time? It was on the square. Okay. That's correct. And then how long have you been in your current location? Um, we moved here in 95. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we've been here quite a while. A long time. Yeah. Okay. Everything's been a long, a long time. time. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me how many offices do you have and where they look at? Okay. Must be a lot if you can pay for that. Uh, I've, got, I've got to make sure I get them all. Uh, we have uh, Harrisonville, Raymore, Lee Summit, Pleasant Hill, the Northland, Overland Park, and our newest office is Lewisburg. So we have uh, seven offices. And then this little office that we're in right now, this is this is World Headquarters. I knew it was Yeah, yeah this is where my office is. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this seven offices. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So that puts us in uh, two states and in three different counties. Okay. So, four different counties now. Four counties. Okay, fantastic. Two in Kansas and two in Missouri. Okay, cool. My last question to you, and it's going to involve this whiteboard, so yes, it must it be is. a good answer. It's going to be Will good. Will you idea. share with us a funny or interesting story from your long career? Something that's 
stands out to you. Okay, I, I this one came up the other day, Cheryl, when I was doing a, a title class, and you know, when I do my title classes, I talk about things that have happened, and and I try to get people in the classes to share with me things that have happened that may be unusual or, or different. Um, but this one, us in the business world think it's funny. Everybody else may not, but 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 the story is about. Uh, we, we had tr well, a transaction that needed to close right now because rate lock was going to expire. They all need to close. Oh yeah, right now. they all need to close right now, and especially when we have realtors because we, we need money. Yes, yeah, we, we're yeah, demanding. We're demanding. Yes, we got to get this done. So in this particular situation, I, we were we were we were doing a piece of property, and it's just a house and a lot. House in here in the middle, and right next door to this house was another lot about the same size, and a house just about the same size. The streets down here on the south side of the, the property. Well, according to the um, mortgage inspection, which we call survey, but the mortgage inspection and the appraisal, there was a joint driveway, and it sits right here. We get the closing instruction letter in from the lender, which says title company will prepare a joint driveway agreement. Well, title company can't do that. That's, that's a legal document. We couldn't do it. And if it was going to be done, the other buyer, the other owner, would have to sign it. The mortgage company on that one would have to sign a subordination agreement, right. and it was a big mortgage company, it'd be forever trying to get that, and it's needed to close now. So, so the documents are here, it's time to close. The realtor comes to my office after hours, and we're just sitting and visiting, and he's relating to me what this problem is, and, and his question was, how do we fix it? We meaning probably me, you know, there's no way for me to come up with whatever they need to be done and get this closed in a Short, short amount of time. Tomorrow. Right, tomorrow, today, now. So, somehow or another, what evolved out of that conversation, I have no idea how, and I'm not gonna disclose where, or who, but somehow or another, at this point, and the point down in here, we had a couple of just regular old wooden posts. Just, they just showed up there that night, and right in between them was, you know that last kind of thing that you put underneath your porch? So the next day, the realtor called the survey company, called the appraiser, said, hey, you need to come back out here. There is no joint driveway. It's two separate driveways. It's two separate driveways, separate and distinct. They came out, they rewrote them, and a couple days later, we got transaction closed. Before this fellow got back from his vacation, before this fellow moved in, that the fence disappeared. <laughs> and to this realtor, day, that's a perfect story. And it's still, to this day, I drive by there, it's just a few blocks that's away fun. from here, and there's no fence. Fantastic. That's a great story. Thank you very much. Thank you for being with me today and sharing all this information with me. You're a joy to work with. I just <laughs> want you to know I appreciate Thank you. you.